Good morning, guys. Just getting everything ready for my job this morning. This is my new uniforms, long sleeve. Got my hat on. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing this morning. This Flip morning I do this probably every time um, before I go to a job. It's just a good practice. I check my oil levels um, in my pumps. And I'm checking these two pumps. So the way you determine, it's really hard to tell on the phone, but your oil level goes that little dot right there. If you have these cat pumps and you wanna make sure your oil is right there at that dot, it can be a little bit above it, but you definitely don't wanna go below it and burn these pumps up. So I had to add a little bit of oil to this pump. My hot water pump's good over here. <clears throat> The high pressure pump oil I use is made by Cat, which is the same company who builds the pump. So stuff works great. You can get that at Northern Tool. Um, so if you have Cat pumps or really any pump, this is plastic. So if you get a wrench on there or pliers and try to force this off, this could break really easily. I have one of my buddies that happened to him and it was really hard to find this part. So hand tighten it and then very lightly use some channel locks to loosen it so this is a good practice guys to so just make sure your pumps you know have the proper oil levels i do check my engines probably once a week um it's really easy to tell <clears throat> on the eight gallon per minute pump see that little yellow spot right there there's a little dot right in the middle of that yellow little bubble there and you can see the oil so i'm on perfectly flat ground right here so when you check your oil, make sure you're on flat ground and um, it's right where it needs to be. So I don't have a whole lot of hours on this machine, but that's about to change. So, but I've worked these two machines like a dog. Um, so I'm not surprised that the oil level was pretty low. I, I probably use this machine the most, or I did before I got my eight gallon per minute. So that's gonna be my primary machine, obviously. But today, since we're gonna be cleaning some eggs off brick, I'm gonna use my hot water machine. I'll go ahead and set it at, we'll do 200. 200 should be good. Um, got a new carburetor put on here. A new uh, fuel filter. So this machine is ready to rock and roll. All right guys, I just wanted to show you um, kind of how I check, check my oil on my pumps those those uh those pumps will burn up pretty quick if the oil is low or there's no oil at all and a lot of these newer machines have to have a safety me mechanism that when the pump gets too low the oil it'll shut off the machine to protect the pump and the engine so um that's one nice feature i know i know for a fact my eight gallon per minute machine has that it better have it that machine is like four grand <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah guys you have to baby these machines because this is your means of how you provide for your family check it often check your pumps your oil for your engines check it often and it's going to add to the life of your machines all right guys i'll see y'all in a little bit i know y'all saw my 2.3 gallon per minute machine this was my 3.3 i bought it just chills in my uh garage now it's just a backup but i made a lot of money with this machine it's got a triple a pump this is the second one i put on there the first one burned up because i didn't know what the heck i was doing perfect example of checking your pump oil um but i've had this machine four years and it still runs great so i run premium gas in all my engines so i mean i could hook this up right now and go clean something with it. So I'm contemplating on just putting it on my truck and just using it for small jobs, just to give it some work. You know, I mean, I'd hate to for it to sit here and not be used. But uh, I don't know if anyone's in the Tulsa area, Oklahoma City area, and you want to buy this machine, I bought it for 1,200. I can give it to you for 350, 400 bucks. So, like I said, it's like a brand new machine. I didn't use it a whole lot until I upgraded to the water cannon but it's a good machine all right guys i'm here at the first job 
she's gonna let me keep a couple signs in her yard for um, for about a week I'm gonna use my hot water machine got my hoses pulled here so I don't know if you can see there those little streaks right there that is egg so really it's just that spot there some spots here and then I sprayed a little degreaser on here just to see what happens. It's definitely loosening all that up. You can definitely see the egg there. So hot water should get all that off, no problem. I just did a little test spot here for the degreaser. I can tell it's already loosening up that egg. So I'll probably do the same thing over here, but we'll try this spot out first. Use hot water and degreaser and see how it works. And I'll probably just see what it looks like over here so I have a yellow nozzle in there I'm probably gonna put the white something a little softer on this brick this is my spray bottle here got some degreaser in there if I need it so all right guys let's get to work I actually upsold her the painted trim on her house had egg all over it and what I did I sprayed some degreaser on there let it sit for about 10 minutes Put my shooter tip on there. I have an eight gallon per minute shooter tip and then a four gallon. Turn on my hot water and all of that egg came off. So she's gonna be super happy. It was pretty stubborn. I had to use uh, my degreaser to get it off. But it turned out great. She's gonna be happy. I'm just kind of chilling right now, letting the wind pick up and the sun hit the brick just to make sure I got everything, but by the looks of it, I did. So, if you kind of look at the brick at an angle, you can really, you can really see the streaks, but they're all gone now. And when, I, when you looked at an angle on the trim, it was all yellow. But the degrees you're going to use is Double Eagle, made by F9. Stuff works good. Looks good. All right, we'll go get the customer and let her know I'm finished. All that egg came off of the trim. Upsold that for 25 extra dollars. She is super happy. I told her I'm a handyman, so I'm gonna come back and replace these exterior lights and then a fan inside of her home and then possibly paint that little section there. Easy day. 175 in about an hour. Right, guys, that job started at 9.30. It's now 10.30. I spoke with the customer for about 20 minutes. So, um, 175 bucks in about 45 minutes of work. It's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So, um, that was honestly the first time I've ever cleaned egg off really anything. So, I know egg is very stubborn. I'm not really sure what that word is what that particular word is there's something inside of an egg that really makes it stick to things and it can stain stuff pretty bad like she had to repaint all of her garage doors um but the brick um it settled in the brick but i was able to use a degreaser and my hot water and it got all that off no problem so um it was kind of stubborn i started with my white tip and then had to use my yellow tip you know for a little bit more pressure ended up turning up my hot water to 250 and that did the trick so um hot water is just you gotta have it in this industry to do the more special type of cleanings um you can make a lot of money with with cold water and chemicals but that hot water just it eats through a lot man it really helps and and the way i describe it to customers you know especially the men you know is you know what does your wife use when she goes to the sink to rinse off her you know the plates to cut through that grease on those plates she uses hot water and uh oh that's a good point you know and people like that you know comparison so um hot water you can do a lot with um do you have to have it in this industry um in the residential world no but in the commercial world if you're going to be you know cleaning some really really dirty surfaces um you know it's good to have along with some sh and you know, it's, it's just going to open you up to a better opportunity to do more styles of cleaning, you know. 
um, and I'm fortunate to have that machine that's been good to me. It did struggle a little bit this morning to crank. It kind of worried me. Uh, it's been, you know, sits in the cold and I was gone for about a week. Anytime a machine sits up like that, it's going to have a little bit of trouble cranking. And, uh, but it's good now. I ran it. So I need to crank on my machines today a little bit and run them. But, um, so yeah, if you have machines and it's your slow season, try your best to just maybe, you know, every few days, um, crank them up, run them just to get, to get some time on them you know it's not good for a machine to sit there um and one thing i do as well um most machines have an on and off gas little valve like a little switch on the bottom um and i turn the machine on or towards the end of my cleaning i close that gas valve and i let all that gas burn out of the carburetor and it'll shut off the machine once it burns up all the gas and uh, that really helps because you don't want that gas to sit in that carburetor, you know, with that valve open and uh, your carburetor will get, you know, dirty and it can really clog up your carburetor and your fuel can't get to your engine. So um, it really helps with that. Anyways, guys, um, I'm probably going to make a separate video. I'm going to do a roof wash tomorrow and um, then I have pretty good size vinyl fence i'm gonna power wash on friday for 375 so ended up being a pretty good week i made right at a grand this week <coughs> with handyman and power washing so um it's been a good week so all right guys well, i'm gonna fuel up and go home do a little maintenance on my machines and call it a day